Okay, so I will explain how to create a dashboard. The dashboard is actually a page that you can collage multiple sheets in it. So to create a dashboard, do you see the second icon on the bottom here? So if you click it, you will see that dash, uh, an empty dashboard is created here. And on the left panel, you will see three actual sheets you created is located here and you can see, you can take a look at overview. So let's say I will create, I'll kind of drag it, mat overview here, then it automatically plays at the center, filling the whole view. If you bring the category popularity, you have a selection, you can actually select whether left vertical, middle, or bottom half. And I just locate it on the bottom half, and you will split half and half. And then probably, if you had, uh, bring trends over time, you can actually locate anywhere you want. It will divide the space. And I probably look at it like this. So actually, this one shows some uh, uh, nicely show or overview popularity and trends over time. So this is basically how to create an uh, overview. Actually, you can install, you can actually add any kind of image. Let's say that you want to show a kind of, uh, let's say, Seattle uh, map. If you kind of like, if you download some additional context, uh, let's say if you kind of download an image, hmm, let's say this one looks like the here, Marcel Island. Where is this? You, you can zoom it out. Uh, where is this one? Near the Washington. Actually, I'm not so sure. But if, let's say that you have an in JPEG image, and this one is commercial building, so you want to show some buildings here. So, uh, Seattle uh, downtown. Like you can bring these kind of images. Uh, so I just save image as, and then desktop located. If you want to bring include image, just click image here in the left side. I just click image. Uh, just waiting that it open folder. Oh, you, you need to double click it and then desktop and then select this image and then just locate somewhere here. And then I will just do, uh, wait a little bit, this one is updating. And then I will click the triangle here and then click fit image here then actually you will see that so probably not a great location but you can add images here if you want to change the size of it you can actually drag and drop so you can actually resize whatever you want so you can print this as a sheet now uh, so to do that I will explain a little bit later quickly, uh, quickly. yes you can do that uh, what you can do is file. Uh, okay, I will explain later. That one is actually I need to show uh, Tableau Desktop. Tableau Public. I don't think so. Uh, oh, I see how to do it. Okay, got it. Okay, so that's kind of creating how to dashboard. And in dashboard, uh, there's one thing uh, you need to know is about filter. So let's say that this one is actually, I've selected and actually this one is kind of showing a little bit weird way. So to fix that, I have to go to the sheet page. And then here uh, I select, let's just say uh, using filter, more larger area, and then show everything changed. And if you go to dashboard, you will see that this one is update you will see updated one. Okay. How did you get the filter again? Okay, so go back to map overview and then just select another area. That's it. You should use this okay. Yes. And then actually you can do here actually. You see that? If you change here, you can actually update it. But the problem is, if you update issue date, this one only update because this filter was created in this uh, overview sheet. This one only update over the sheet. What if we want this selection apply all other sheets together? How do you 
How did you get that filter thing on the dashboard? Uh, this one is automatically followed when I import my uh, this sheet. Okay, so when you want to change the app, uh, application range, do you see this triangle here? And then you have to click apply to worksheet and then click or using this data source. So now you see that this one is interactively, everything is changed. So now let's see uh, for past trends, which is 2010. Wow, so 2010, actually everything is quite decreasing. If I take a look at in the middle, you see that it's still decreasing. If I see the latest trend, you will see that it's also decreasing. But somewhere here, you see that some part, some part, after 2012, actually quite many things are actually increasing. So now you will see the yearly, the changes in the trends per every year. So now question is, uh, how can you say this? So you want to, okay, so he, this is how to apply map overview. And then if you want to nicely locate this category to somewhere on, on the map or images, if you click category, if you click triangle here, you can make this one float or fixed height or unclick floating. Uh, if it is, if the floating is unclicked, this filter will locate inside the grid as if other sheet but if you click this one floating you can locate anywhere you want like such as on over the map or on over if you move it you need to click this center top area and then pl you probably you need to locate it here so actually if you select float you can locate anywhere you want if you click on if you unclick uh, floating it should kind of it should be located within the layout of other stuff within the like other sheet so i just place here so it's, a, it's your design choice